Good morning, North Plainfield. Now that we've got our schedules, I figured now would be a good time to remind everybody how to change your profiles and set up your profiles in Genesis for your gradebook. Things like the amount of um, total points versus category weighting. Um, if you're going to have like a homework category, a test category, a quiz category, it's the thing we do once a year and we always forget how to use it. Uh, so I figured I'd give you a quick crash course on how to set up your profiles in Genesis. So the first thing you need to do is log into Genesis and you need to make sure that you've clicked on Gradebook here. Okay, you'll only be able to access these things if you go through Gradebook. Now, if you're looking at your home tab, you should see all of your classes now. You can check out the, the rosters, you can look at the different uh, kids that are going to be in your class. But what we need to focus on right now is setup and profiles. So there's two things to click on. Let's look at profiles first. If we click on profiles, if you have not touched this yet, you're going to see one that says default profile and the one that just says pro default profile without the years there. One will say school, one will say teacher. Um, let's go with the easy option first. If you taught in the district last year and you want to reuse last year's profiles, the easiest thing to do would be to click on this tab over here on the top left that says last year. It will show the last year's profiles. And if you want to use those again, you can just click copy profile to 2020, 2021. So let's say I click on the honors and CP one, copy profile. Do I want to copy it? Yep. If I've done this properly, if I go back to list profiles top left, or you can just click on profiles again, I should see, yep, honors and CP. All right, right there. So if you wanted to use the ones from last year, uh, that's where you would find it. Click on last year, bring them over. Now, um, if you want to make new ones, the easiest thing to do would be to make a copy of one of these. I made a copy of the teacher one, um, just so it's not listed on like the whole profile of the whole school. So I made a copy of teacher. Let's do that now. I made a copy. It's going to take whatever that word is and put the word copy in front of it. So I'm just going to make this one test. Make sure you save after everything. It's not like Google, uh, it doesn't save things automatically. So I've made a test. There are two ways for me to start changing the parameters of this new profile that we've created. One, I can click on these links here. If I want to change total points or category weights, I can click here. Or if I just want to change the categories, I can click here. But the way that most people get to it is they go to setup, right next to profiles up here, setup. And then when it loads, you will see all of the different things. So we want to look at the course profile we just made, which was test. So um, change the profile. Remember, if it's in red on Genesis, that means it is an unsaved change. If it's red, you need to save it. So now we're looking at the course setup for my test course. And you can see it's total points. It's outlined all these different things. It tells me my grade weights, what everything means. But probably the most important thing for you um, you may want to change depending on your department, whether it's total points or, or category weights. Uh, and if you're not sure, if you're new and you don't know, ask your supervisor. But probably what you want to change is the categories, right? The homework, classwork, quizzes, stuff like that. So click on the link here that says edit categories. And then you'll have access to changing all of these things. Okay, again, so we got there by going to setup and then we clicked on categories. And now you can go in and change it. You can use the three or four that are there. Um, you can change the points. You can change the color of the background when it appears, when it makes the column at the very top. It'll change the color. If you're into that kind of thing, you can change the font color, the background color. Um, whether or not you want to drop any grades for a marking period, the amount that you want to drop, I want to drop five of the lowest homework grades, you know, whatever makes sense for your teaching in your classroom. You can do numeric, alphabetic, pass fail. Again, most people do numeric, most people don't drop classes, but it totally depends on your teaching style and what your department wants you to do. You can also assign a points ratio here. If you need to add extra ones, you click on add new category. Let me explain this to you. Category code, it, it's hard to see now because it's grayed out, but category code is a very short alphanumeric designation. So let's say I'm making one for vocab. I do vocab quizzes, right? Vocab will be my category code put what the description is here. I want it to be a numeric grade create. And what it's going to do for me is at the end, it's going to generate uh, a number. Don't worry about this number. It's irrelevant. Um, and it's going to create the code here, vocab and then vocab and quizzes. The reason why it asks for both of those things, both the category code and the name is these columns, if, you, if you're used to Genesis, the columns are very, very narrow, right? So at the top of it, it's not going to have the entire code. It's just going to put that short thing, homework, quiz, test, FRQ. Um, I don't actually need this, so I'm going to delete it. If you accidentally make one you don't need it, click on trash can. Trash can deletes everything. Make sure you save all of the time, even if you don't think you need to. And then you can go through that way. You can look at all the, the, the preferences from here. You can go to preferences. You can change 
total points, category weighting, all of this different stuff if, if you want, okay? Now, once you've finished making your profile and setting it up, you need to make sure that you actually assign a class to it. See, I've just accidentally assigned my AP Human Geography class to my test. I don't want that, I wanna move it around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Setup again. I'm going to navigate up here to the gradebook that I want. So all of my classes are here, I want this course. And I'm gonna change my course profile to the one I made specifically for that. Change profile, give it a second to load. And then the profile that I have made for that course is now assigned to that gradebook. So if I were to go into gradebook and I were to add an assignment, all of the uh, categories that I made would be right here. All right, and when I click on it, it automatically comes up with the point value, which you can change. If you need to Genesis, you can change the point value uh, and do what you like, save assignment, and it will pop up there and you'll notice. Okay, yes, I forgot to put a name. Um, if you'll notice, let me pick a different one, uh, multiple choice practice. The colors also, you'll see them up here. All right, so um, that is how you would change a profile, right? So this is the thing we do once a year and we always forget how to do it. So profile and setup is what you need. Go into profiles, copy ones if you need to make extras. You can't, there's no option to make a new one, but you can make copies of one. Go in there, change the details, go to setup and make sure that you are assigning each grade book to the course profile that you have made. If you have any more questions, please reach out to the NP Techies. We will be happy to help you anytime. Uh, and let us know if there is anything else about Genesis that you would like a video of, and we will certainly make one for you. Make sure that we're all set up for the remote school year. Have a wonderful day.